Chaechung has been activated. Predator mode turned on. Welcome everybody to the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining us here. If you're new here, hey buddy, welcome aboard. If you're a subscriber, thank you for all of your support. Hopefully, if you have not subscribed yet, today will be the day that you subscribe. Only, only thing you have to do, only thing you have to do is hit that subscribe button, cling on that, um, or ding on that little notification bell. That way it helps you to know when I put out a video. I try to put out videos on a daily basis throughout the week. That being said, let's get to today's video. I am not trying to be all cool with these shades on, but you know, the future is so bright that you do have to wear shades. And that's because our star defensive lineman, our defensive end, Chase Young. Oh, <laughs> the beast, man. The beast is back, baby. Ron Rivera started off his press conference yesterday saying that they have activated Chase Young and he will practice this week and hopes to be playing Sunday against the Atlanta Falcons. So Chase Young, after a year of being out, will play against the Atlanta Falcons. At least that's that's the hope. Now, how much will he play? Well, Ron Rivera basically said that they're going to try to get him maybe around, I think he said 10 to 15 snaps. So don't expect him to play a whole lot. You'll probably see him come in a couple of times in the first half, maybe a couple of times in the second half, just kind of getting a feel, you know, getting a, a feel of the game, getting a flow of playing football again. You got to think, this guy has not been out on the football field in a year. He tore his ACL last year, November the 14th. So it has been a full year that Chase Young has been out. And so he marks his return to football and he has not had OTAs he has not had any type of training camp so you're not going to expect him to come in and resume his normal playing time that he did prior to his injury I mean that, that's just not going to happen folks so just to let you know he, he is not going to come back in and be the Chase Young that he was in 2020 right off the bat don't even expect him to be the Chase Young he was before he got injured in 2021. And I know a lot of you are probably saying, well, gee, I hope not because he wasn't that good in 2021. And, you know, my theory with that, I probably said this six months ago, but my theory with that was that I feel like there probably was some sort of injury some sort of weakness or something that Chase Young had prior to that ACL. You know, some sometimes there's precursors to a bigger injury, and then he really had the big injury, and then that just kind of finished things off. And so because of that, he just didn't play that well. I think also there was pressure to try to duplicate what that defensive front did and from 2020. I mean, they were very dominant in 2020. They came out in 2021. They were not dominant. They were like an empty shell of themselves. They started out kind of similar to that this season, but Jack Del Rio and company have really turned things around. Thank goodness that defensive front is dominant now. And that's the, also the other thing. You don't want to put Chase Young in there and have him playing an enormous amount of snaps because you don't want to interrupt the flow and the progress of how things are going so far with that defensive front. Right now, we're having a lot of success with the rotations with Abade, uh, with Two Hill coming in, Smith Williams, of course, starting. You know, so you got guys like that who comes in. You got Ridgeway who comes in and, and suplexes people. I mean, you don't really need a Chase Young coming in and taking an enormous amount of snaps right from the get-go. So you need to just kind of throw him in there, let him play a couple of snaps, get his feet wet again, 
because it's going to take him a while just to get back into football form. And it's probably going to take him, honestly, until the end of the season just to get back to feeling like he's somewhat of Chase Young. And honestly, it's not going to be until next year that he's really back to being Chase Young again, folks. I mean, even if the Washington Commanders are able to make the playoffs and at that point Chase Young is, has increased his snaps, you know, doubled his snaps, which is what Rivera and company hope that they're able to do with Chase Young, he's probably still not going to be the Chase Young that he was in 2020. It's really not going to be him until 2020. Three, honestly you wouldn't expect anything else it takes a good solid year and some change before these guys are able to come back and be who they were prior to the injury a lot of it's mental some of it's physical as well and I think because of that that's the reason why that Ron Rivera is doing the good thing he's doing the right thing he's bringing Chase Young back slowly and they've had the luxury of doing that because that defensive front has been so dominant and so successful especially after the uh, the initial quarter of the start of this season which was just really awful but they have really turned things on and turned things around so much that now you can really say that even if they had to go without Young the rest of the season it'd be okay because that defensive front has been such a great you know, positive thing, a dominant thing for this team. I mean, Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne have probably had all pro, pro bowl type caliber seasons. Montez Sweat, had, you know, he kind of started off a little slow and he's really brought it on as well. So, I mean, we're in good hands right now. Chase Young has probably the most perfect opportunity to come back and not have any pressure on him to try to put the defense on his back and carry him. He doesn't have to do that. He can just come back and slowly mentally get back into form. And I think he will. He will. We just have to give him the chance, the opportunity. Now, I know you're going to have some some boo birds out there who are going to be like, well, he's a bust anyway, so you've already said we don't need him, so why do we even need to bother with him? You just wait. You just wait on that. Because once Chase Young is back 100%, you're going to realize how much we have needed Chase Young. Yes, that defensive front has been dominant, but you get Chase Young back on the other end, being Chase Young, it's going to be unfair. You're going to realize how much we have missed Jay Young on that other book in there. I mean, it's it's going to be totally... It's going to be out of this world, folks. It really is. We're going to party when we see Jay Young being back to 100% predator mode. And it's going to be it's going to be outstanding. I just We got to run through the pictures again just before this video ends. I mean... Can you picture this dude back 100%, man? Big old 99 there. Predator mode. Yeah. Yeah. You you cannot tell me this guy's going to be a bust. I mean, this is one time that I'm going to say that I hope I never eat crow because this dude cannot. He has worked his hind end off to get back from this horrible injury that he has sustained. And I think that the Washington Commanders have done exactly what they needed to do to protect him, to get him rehabbed back into football shape. And they're going to continue to make sure that this guy right here is going to feed, feed upon opposing offenses. Man, I tell you what, Chase Young, he is back. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.